<laughs> Sonic Boom says, that's too bad. I like Nora. Too bad she turned out to be a backstabber. Well, you know what? I liked her too. I took her virginity in that hotel room many years ago. That was still enjoyable though. Daddy's home, kids. Yo. <laughs> I'm about to stick a stick of TNT inside any politician trying to tell me how to live my life. What the fuck's going on with you, Todd? Was it's time to shock him. I use your nose. I remember her saying, Oh, I said, Oh, uh, you know what? They can suck it. Bunch of grown Oh, uh, you know what? I'll resist. Mm. I'll resist. I'll resist, even though she sent her minions out against me. Well, maybe I'll say this. I'll remember her saying, that's too big. That's too big. There's no way. She was wrong. Might have hurt a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, we the lean, rugged, mean, mugging, weed puffing, heat busting team about to violate you tree huggers. Oh, I know how much the scene love us. Blacklisted everywhere, trying to stop us from that. Really happened, by the way. No joke. Spot us with police choppers. Now take your vaccine and be a sweet puppet. What the fuck's going on in 2020? Yeah, send your bitch boy Craig back out here, bitch. I don't. God, don't get me fired up. Honestly, I really need to not. Like, I sit here and. Oh. You motherfuckers think I really went off script? You really don't have any clue how much I've composed myself. Yeah, send that to her. Craig, you faggot. Craig Mansfield of Virginia Tech, you fag. He wants to hold her skirt and used to fucking slobber all the time because you never fuck her and you never will. Fuck yeah, why don't you send that clip to her, bitch? I know you're watching every moment. Now light them up as we celebrate a decade. If you ain't with it, yeah. yeah, Mansfield, you fag. You like to talk a lot of shit on Twitter. Bring it, bitch. Tell that fucking bitch to bring it, too. Fire and brimstone raining on your bitches. I'm here to pick bones and paint a couple pictures. Okay. If you don't know, you better ask the biscuit. He's like one of the most unhinged anti Ralph, anti America First guys. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, and it's all because I told him to fuck off. Anonymous sent three dollars. Nobody even really remembers the stated reason they took out Milo. No, they if don't. I recall it was something like. He talked about how he had been preyed upon when he was younger, and I guess for that happening to him, he wasn't allowed on TV anymore. Yes! Sick shit. Like, honestly, you're right. Like, the reason they gave was, wait, he talked about he was raped by a priest, and now he's supposed to be persona non grata? Like, it literally makes no sense. That's his Twitter right there. Go pull it up. Go pull it up and watch what it is. <laughs> Go look through his feed, and it's just nothing but America First. It's nothing but anti-Ralph shit. And the reason is, I, I'll tell you what happened. I fell asleep one night, and my ex-wife, like, got to be friends with not just him, but, like, his friend group online, and she was going on his streams and stuff. And he was a faggot, and... When I, you know, when it became a problem, I was like, you need to stop hanging with this faggot. Like, this guy's ridiculous. Like, what the fuck? All he does is hate on me. Like, how can you be friends with this guy? It's ridiculous. And she said, okay, I, you know, you're right. I won't be friends with this guy. Now, of course, she lied. And there was nothing sexual going on. He's too much of a pussy for that. But I just didn't like her talking to this guy. I didn't like her being friends with this guy. And she lied and said she wouldn't be friends with them. And, you know, she was still in the groups and all that stuff. And it was like a constant, it was a constant, pr like, thorn in my relationship with her, honestly. And I'll say this to, to anybody, anybody younger, listen to me. Anybody who's in the same type of situation, listen to me. If your woman doesn't immediately drop somebody you tell them to drop, get rid of her immediately. Don't waste any time. Drop the bitch. If you say you're not comfortable with her talking to whoever it is, it doesn't matter who the fuck it is. Get rid of her immediately. 
Get rid of her immediately. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. If it's somebody that you don't appreciate her talking to, if it's somebody you feel is, is fucking with your relationship, which is both, it's both in these case, in this case, and she doesn't respond in the affirmative. Get rid of them. If she doesn't get rid of them, get rid of her immediately. There's no reason to spend even one more second fucking with this bitch. 100%. And looking back, I would have never married this bitch. She, obviously, she has no respect for you whatsoever. Do not continue. And I guarantee you there are some people right now who are hearing my voice who are in the same situation. And by the way, there was no cheating. There was no nefarious things going on. It was just, this is a guy who doesn't like me. He's telling her negative shit all the time. He's some virgin simp who can't get any pussy on his own. And he's actually thirsting for her the entire time. Of course, she didn't want to hear that. He paid for this bitch down in Columbia who never fucked him. And anyway, I could get into everything, but do not waste any more time with a bitch who, who treats you like that. And again, I'm not saying I made every right move and that I always treated her the right way. Cause I didn't. And, uh, I can sit here and think about some things that I did the wrong way too, but I'm saying I should have just ended it because, um, there was no reason whatsoever to continue on in a relationship like that. Like if I tell Pansu not to talk, first off, it ain't happening in the first place. Second off, she's going to not talk to that motherfucker. Period. Period. Nothing else needs to be said. And so, unfortunately, that's that wasn't the mindset I was in then. I, you know, I loved her back in the day, right? Like I was trying to put it together and I was trying to, oh, we'll figure it out. No, there is no figuring it out. There is no figuring it out. If you're not doing what they want you to do in that respect, you're talking to people who are damaging your relationship and and you have no respect for your, for your partner, you need to leave. You need to leave. You need to end it then. Period. Bitch. Somebody send this out to her fucking whore. Craig, why don't you show her this in your faggot chat groups that you know she's still in? Fucking nasty bitch. Yeah, that's what I think about you, whore. And don't, don't get it twisted. I know you sent this fucker out here to talk shit about me. Don't think I don't know that. I know that for a fact. But you don't have the balls. You don't have even one fucking percent of the balls to come out here and talk shit yourself because you worked for me literally for years. You were on Milo Yiannopoulos' dick. You said countless things that would have you looking a little shady these days. Bitch, you don't have the balls to come out here and talk shit about me, but I'll say whatever the fuck I want about you, whore. Nora, you bitch. Stop me. Come out here and say something about it then. If you don't like it, if you don't like it, why don't you go in the casino then, bitch? Fucking whore. You want to send all your minions out here to talk shit? I'm not scared. I will fucking dominate your ass just like I did that first time we met in the fucking hotel room, you dirty skank. Right wing coalition. Oh, and I literally dominated the ass, by the way. Yeah. Go And the. You know what? I'm trying to maintain just a very slight sheen of gentlemanly behavior. <laughs> very slight. <sighs> But I can tell you what, bitch. I know who you've sent out. I know what you've done. I dare you. I fucking dare you to come on one of these shows. I dare you to fuck with me. You won't. Because I'll absolutely bury you under the fucking ground. 
figure. It kind of goes back to point number one. This is why we. Oh, don't you want to talk all this shit? Oh, 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 I was bra- bitch. No, no, you weren't brainwashed, you fucking dumb whore. You were a collaborator. You wrote article after article for my website. You ran my website while I was in jail. There's nobody on this earth who's going to believe the shit you're selling. I double dog dare you to ever open your fucking mouth about me, bitch. God, I want that to happen. I want it to happen. I'm talking to you, whore, right fucking now. I want you to do that. Because I got a lot to say. Who we should disavow. I'm sure... One of the the co-founders of the Kill Stream. Actually... Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.